All right, guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your temperature cranked up, uh, just on the nozzle, of course, not on the bed. <clears throat> I would recommend that you get it to somewhere around 220 or 225. You want it a little bit hotter than normal, okay? Uh, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. So once this temperature gets up to where I want it, we'll go and start removing the nozzle. All right, guys, as a safety precaution, please, please, please do not touch the nozzle with your bare hands, whatever you do, because it is super hot right now, and you're probably going to end up uh, scorching your fingers if you do so. So the first thing you want to do is get the tools ready necessary to take this down. You can either use the wrench that came with it, which was supplied, but if you already have an aftermarket nozzle on there, then there's a chance that you might need one that you have laying around your house. Okay, so once you get that, the next thing you're gonna need, okay, the next thing you're gonna need is something for the nozzle to drop into uh, because you do not wanna touch it. Something metal or heavy glass will do. This is just the dust cover that I printed um, for the CR10, so I'm just gonna use that because I'm pretty sure the nozzle is not gonna melt this. Okay, so what you wanna do is go ahead and just take your wrench right there remember turn it to the right to make it tight turn it to the left to loosen it up as you can see it's turning pretty easy I'm not having any issues with it whatsoever so I'm just gonna keep going and it looks like it's done And it's stuck inside of here uh, because of the filament that was around the nozzle itself. But there it is, guys. That's how you remove the nozzle. It's a little <laughs> scorched, actually, more than I thought it would be. So I'm going to wait for it to cool down before I touch it. I'm actually going to put that same nozzle back because there's nothing wrong with it. And once we do that, we're going to test it to make sure that it does work and there's no clogs in it. And then we'll go from there. Now, the reason I'm making this video, um, as you guys know, I have made other videos as well regarding uh, how to unclog your nozzle. Guys, nowadays nozzles are so cheap that instead of going through all that hassle, unless you have like an all metal nozzle that you paid like 25 bucks for, um, it's really not worth going through the hassle of unclogging it I would recommend you just replace it and I have tons of nozzles that I have on hand I have maybe about 20 to believe it or not and anytime I feel like there's a problem I just go ahead and switch it out but this one I just put it in maybe about two months ago and believe it or not it's still working like a champ I don't see any problems with it uh, the only thing is once I mount this back on I'm actually gonna clean some of these out and you can use it uh, using Honestly, I just use my wife's nail polish remover. I just throw it in there, shake it up, and everything comes right off. So uh, once we get that going, we will let's see if it's okay. It's a little bit cooler, but this is what I was talking about right here. If you look inside, right around the tip, and I'm pretty sure there's some filament inside too. So this part right here. Uh, the threaded part that's where the filament sometimes gets stuck and that's how it leaks to the outside of the nozzle that you can see So if this was hard like it is right now and cool down and I tried to remove this guess what? I would probably either break the nozzle or Mess up the threading inside there. So it's a good thing that I took it out while it was hot Okay, so let's go and reinstall this and see how it works Alright guys, so here it is, same nozzle right here. You can actually use your hand here because the nozzle is not hot and what I'm going to do is put that in there and try to get the first couple of grooves put in. There it is. Now I'm going to, as I'm doing this, the nozzle is heating up, keep in mind. So I'm just going to hand tight it until I feel it a little bit warm and Jesus, that thing heats up fast. So once I have that in there, I'm just going to take my wrench here and just turn it. I feel it getting tight already. So I'm just going to give it 
a little bit more. And there it is. Now all the residue that you saw on the nozzle itself, uh, I'm actually going to take that off now. You can take any pliers that you have. I usually just use these. Once the nozzle is hot enough, you can just go in here and just grab all the filament that's been in there extra. So you can see this coming out right there. So you can just repeat this process a little bit until you want your nozzle nice and clean. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have it nice and clean as long as it prints and does the job. But since we're going over how to change out nozzles, we might as well do it. Now, if you're changing it with a new one, you're probably not going to have to go through all of this. But I'm reusing the same one. So there you go that's how you install the nozzle now we just need to check it so what we're gonna do and how to check it is we're actually gonna feed filament through it and I'm gonna show you what signs to look for alright guys so I've fed my filament through the nozzle is still hot uh, what we're checking for here is once we feed the filament through we want to get an even straight stream coming down we don't want any curling or going back touching the nozzle now keep in mind those are very minor clogs okay you get that throughout so many times you probably don't even realize it because you're not sitting there monitoring your prints so when the nozzle actually or the filament comes through the nozzle a uh, filament gets stuck in there and it slowly pushes out what it has um, throughout your printing lifetime you'll probably get over I don't know over 500 clogs and this is over a period of maybe like four or five years but these are very minor partial clogs so they get clogged in here and as, they come, as filament keeps getting pushed in, it clears itself out. So what we're, we're looking for is an even stream, or sometimes you'll notice when you push your filament through, it curls. Uh, that's a partial clog, very, very minor partial clog. So let's go ahead and see, make sure we get a steady stream coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push the filament through. Okay. That's good. That's exactly what we're looking for right there, guys. Even straight stream coming all the way down. And there it is. That's how I know my nozzle's good to go. It's ready for the next print. See right there how it's curling just a little bit? Okay, it, it does that. That's not a big deal. That's just filament coming in is just sitting there the fans pushing it up and it's going through but if you constantly keep getting that that's the very minor plug I told you about but if you push more out it'll eventually fix itself there it is see it just fixed itself by pushing more filament through it all right there you go guys Alright guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful on how to change the nozzles for the Creality, basically any Creality, uh, Creality line you have, whether it be the CR10, the CR10S, or even if you're using the Ender here, okay, uh, they're all basically the same type, uh, very easy to change out, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if uh, you have any questions, comments, go ahead and please leave it down below. If you like to see more new content, go and subscribe to the channel. And like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.